of the month of March and we're glad and happy and proud to be alive. And guess what? We're celebrating Ghana in a very unique way. We're eating, sleeping, wearing, chopping, dancing, smelling, everything Ghana. And uh, I'm not here alone, you know, of course, there's a whole band of uh, very enthusiastic <laughs> people. Uh, you know, there's a Generation 1 presenter. <laughs> <laughs> There's a generation two and a generation three presenters. Guys, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to I, I, I like the I like the flair and the, the combination, you know. Mm. Ames okay. clothes is like a bit of contumbre with the uh, palm oil. Yours yes. is like rare and quine. This is rare and quine, right? Mm -hmm. It's like um in cutting coin. With a bit of a bear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mine is like coffee broke one. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting oh there. That's a nice one you put it. But I yours see. has a bit of, um, <coughs> what's that? The little Kita school boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abobi, Abobi. Yes. Abobi, yes, Abobi. Yes, Abobi yeah. I, think, I think that's yeah. what it comes Abobi. to. Abobi. Interesting patterns. This but African one. print is beautiful. It is. I mean, it has to be celebrated. Let's put away all the Anytime. foreign ones. I mean, once in a while, you can just put it in there. But your African print speaks a lot. I mean, the pictures in it, the diagrams, it can t even tell a story. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's good to celebrate I, Ghana. I, I like the back in the day the Dinka <coughs> symbols yeah. that were used to make our clothes. These days you don't get them. I mean, yeah. they're just some artist it's impressions true. that are put together and the explanations that must come with the clothes, mm -hmm. you know, maybe because today's generation is not so excited about what the cloth means. Yeah. Because yeah. if you go to Makola and you pick the cloth, they're able to oh tell yeah. you yeah. what the story yeah. behind it yeah. is. And in the month of March, while we celebrate Ghana, I'm sure we'll bring you a lot of those ones. So yeah. you get to That's know. True. So you don't wear uh, a cloth meant for funerals or mourning <laughs> To somebody's party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that happens exactly. People do it. People just yeah. choose the yeah. colors. Yeah. Exactly. It, because it's nice. So, yeah. into then, a wumpus road, then, you know, is that somebody's naming ceremony right. or something. And yeah. so, if you have an elderly person who's there, they'll point out to you, oh, young lady or young man, this cloth is actually meant for a funeral. Mm. If you're fortunate to have such people in the system who still teach these traditions, then, that of course, good. you are blessed. Yeah, yes, we have people who are them. willing to learn. That's the, That's the other right. part. Because most of the young ladies I have met mm. these days don't like to own Kaba and Slit. They want to buy jeans and tatted but, but and macaroni. Surely, and I mean, the they truth with cover and slits. Yeah. Now, it's not that we don't like to. Okay. It's not, you know, with driving. The slit, because now ladies will want it fitting. Exactly. Right. And so when it's that tight, it's a bit difficult to, to maneuver drive. when you're driving. Ah. And getting up and sitting down is a bit difficult. But oh. now what we do, of course, is still do a bit of the cover style. Maybe make oh, it a okay. skirt rather than a traditional slit, okay. as it were. And then, I mean, but yeah, some young ladies really like tradition. Maybe and especially still if, you stick to some if you haven't some customers haven't gone to uh, far to fit, you're a bit difficult. That certainly is a good point. Yeah. But, but you see, <laughs> I, I'm. I'm I'm worried because if gradually all our sisters are beginning to just like dress and skirt, mm -hmm. dress and skirt, what happens when they give birth? Because there's a reason there's the cabana slit with the cover cloth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is used for, you know, the, the, the child. And which is why when you're gonna get married, they Johnny, ask for how many of how clothes. many people do you still see well, using oh, the cloth oh, to like, strap their children? We are doing Ghana. We're doing Ghana. We're doing Ghana. Great, great. We're, we're doing Ghana but this uh, month issue of uh, Ghana month mm. and we are drinking, sleeping, eating, talking smelling. and walking and smelling Ghana. Yeah. What is it for? Well, I guess it's just to remind people of what Ghana stands for, our culture mm. and the fact that of course we're celebrating our anniversary. It's, you know, a long year yeah. program. Yeah. That is about years. 61 yeah. so years. We're still same. Yes, we're I mean, of course, we're not happy about the part of governance or what we do as a people, but the fact that we have to remember our roots at least mm. one point in our time is important, I guess. Just I'm to remind sure. the young ones. I also believe how that it's a time to mm. you know, imbibe in us the spirit of patriotism. Yes, right. certainly. Well, like, so well to be a citizen and not a spectator. Patriotism comes in different forms. Yeah. Um, and if the people don't want to be patriotic, mm. I mean, you mm. can't force them to be exactly, patriotic. Yeah. Some would look at their leaders to emulate their right, patriotism. Yeah. And if, you know, you have an MP, a DC, as an assemblyman, mm. and you don't see that element of patriotism, you may not have... Mm. So know. is it an end to, to something? Mm. Or we're just doing this for March, and then uh, not even the whole of March. Mm. After six months, we'll go back to... <laughs> Uh, I'll something else. Well, I mean, it's we'll you, you, well. you, 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 for example, mm. you have a pension of wearing your African print ties. I mean, all mm. year through. Mm. That in itself is 
is a big deal because you know if somebody would want to choose a, a necktie would want to choose yeah. an african print tie or because i've had people tie. acting me exactly where you get because you're wearing it so it's not a, it's not a means or so, something so can, just so can to we herald a bit can mm. we use this as um i mean the 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 path mm. to get people to become a real Ghanaian, not mm. the yearly thing we do here and right. talk and after six months everything mm. is dead. I mean, can we use it? Certainly, okay. we want right. to. But then it's a starting yeah. point. You see, because I, I remember when we never patronized even the African print as mm. much until during President Kufour's time when he says right, Friday right, wear, right. and it became a trend. And now even after he yeah. left, we still, you know, patronize mm. it. So I guess it's just it died, one step it at a time. It did. Yeah. Right, let me tell you something. It all comes to the tailors and the seamstress. We're using this opportunity to beg you. <laughs> Tell us the truth. If you can't make it, just say, oh, I can't. Come tomorrow. And let me go to another. You say, oh, I'm almost done. And you get there. They don't even know which cloth you oh, brought to them. On. But viewers, do we send us tailors. pictures of yourself in your African print for today so that we can display mm. it you and see, show that we're celebrating the, the, There's Ghana. a commercial on running on radio mm -hmm. and on TV yeah. where I hear ladies say, uh, this month, let's throw away uh, or other drinks, and mm. let's do the sobo mm. and the rest. Right. Asana. Okay, mm. yes. And uh, I, for me, I, I, I think that uh, it's a. Uh, you see, the the problem with why we cannot live on what we produce here is that we are bringing in what is foreign. Yeah. Right. It, it's a classic example. Luckily, we were in South Africa for the World Cup in 2010, mm. and we're struggling to eat rice. Mm. The reason is that they will not allow you to bring one grain of rice, mm. apart from the local yeah. rice. We struggle the whole month <laughs> to eat rice because your rice is something else, mm. okay? But over here, we have spent money to, to run a commercial mm -hmm. on, on TV telling people that l this month, let's do our sobolo. We have given people import licenses to go and bring those foreign drinks mm. from China. Mm. Okay, that sell at about 50 pesos, 60 mm. pesos, one city mm. in town. Right. Blue Skies is in Accra, producing uh, that juice. Mm. Some, when you buy them, it's 10 cities or 12 cities. Yeah. Compare 10 cities or 12 cities to the, the, that drink from China Shoes or Ghana. wherever that is. Mm two cities or one city. Mm. The people who go for the one right, city. Exactly. Right. I mean, and it, so you it, force I think it's blue skies. It's, 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 it's a matter, of, it's a matter of production and quality. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it is not just a matter of... Uh, Johnny, for well, me, the me quality we can hold on, not just a matter of just saying that stop drinking sober. Right. From the top, we need mm. a, a, an action mm. to stop the practice. Yeah. Mm. So, like, okay. they could have put a ban on importation yes. of these I mean, foreign drinks. Well, well, I mean, but right. you, you cannot also right. do that when you continue to sign on to IMF conditionalities that will give, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the bilateral trade mm. agreements, mm. for example. Right. You, you cannot hold on and say, look, you're cutting off everything. Mm. Because once you start cutting off people, people will also cut off your exports into their country. Mm. So, it's a give and take affair. We must just know how to balance it properly. Because you want to grow your fruits and mm. export them. You want to grow your things and tell other people what you have and you don't want to uh, have anybody's thing in your country that that doesn't work like that anyway I'm because sure it, the way around it, it, exactly the, 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 the hope the whole point the whole point is about quality and as our ability to produce no it works so for example there are people who are trying to just milk everything out of Sobolo, mm -hmm. we all know that we have Bisapi here. We all know we have sugar. We all know we have ginger and everything else you need for Sobolo. Mm -hmm. So why produce Sobolo and put it in a small bottle and say it's for five cities? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add up. Johnny, it works. You, you, know you get the point. You cannot, for instance, Ghana can't export anything at mm -hmm. all to the United States. Mm -hmm. You need to go through rigorous processes. Mm -hmm. But they, we are dropping everything from secondhand mm -hmm. supporter to panties to Brazias, and that is right. Second. You but anyway, this is but the year okay, of so Ghana so beyond no, right, sure right. We'll you that. signed. Guys, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But let George do that. See, will it's, come back it is there because we, we signed, we signed the George. economic partnership agreement. The economic partnership agreement gives us that, and that was why key economic, you know, analysts were talking about the fact that look, that was a wrong decision we made. Yeah, certainly. But George, you have the news. Take exactly. us. <laughs>
Welcome to Ghana Month here on New Day. Let's do some news here. Some supporters and delegates of the New Patriotic Party in the Karaga constituency say the only album they will accept as eligible for the upcoming uh, elections is the one that compiled by a five-member committee and uh, the supporters say any attempt to impose an album on them will be resisted fiercely. Here's a report by Zubeda Ismail. <laughs> Constituency elections at Karaga was marred by near chaotic incidents. According to the NPP constitution, election albums should be updated every four years and a committee constituted to oversee the compilation of the album for elections. At the news conference, the elections and research officer Abdul Karim Alassan, together with some constituency executives, alleged an album had been compiled in an attempt at rigging the election. Following the insistence of the regional chairman to impose that concocted album on us, we decided to send an official complaint to the party's headquarters in Accra. The petition was asking the national headquarters to intervene before alleged Joe Cadre, the DC and the regional chairman caused havoc to the new patriotic party in the Karaga constituency. Though the executives revealed they are yet to see the supposed album, they are sure the register has been manipulated to suit the district chief executive. They have, however, vowed never to use the album compiled by the DCE. When the DC Alassan Yabdo was contacted on the allegations leveled against him, he denied compiling the said album. Meanwhile, constituency elections in Bimbila, Gambaga and Daboya have been put on hold until further notice due to insecurity. Residents of Abanko have pleaded for the roads in their community to be upgraded. The residents say the bad nature of the roads make them stranded in town, especially during the raining season. And here is a report by Beatrice Spugabra. Abankro is in the Jisujwa municipality of the Ashanti region. There is no bridge on River Tabri leading to the community from Ejisu township. The slightest downpour makes commuting a Herculean task for residents. Due to the lack of bridge, erosion has eaten the soil around the river and a deep gully has also been created. Drivers have to apply their expertise to manage through the gully to the other side of the community. A resident, Adjoa Abrefi, and a commercial driver, Enoka J, appealed for the upgrading of the road. Abankro houses an ultra-modern Ghana National Association of Teachers, Nat Village. The Nat Village is underutilized because of the poor nature of the roads and the lack of a bridge over River Tabri. As part of their corporate social responsibilities, NAT is funding the construction of a 1.2 diameter culvert bridge over River Tabri. National President of NAT, Mrs. Philippa Larson, in an interview explained the association is funding the 70,000 bridge project to ease the challenges the residents go through in carrying out their daily activities. We ply on this road almost every now and then. We saw the problem or the challenge with the bridge. And as a corporate social responsibility, we felt that it was necessary that we did something. The way they received us and all that, we have become part of the community, we have become part of the family. And so we felt that if we, we are able to do this thing for them, it will help all of us. The Municipal Chief Executive for Ejizu Joabit, Madam Beatrice Sewa Dechi, was appreciative of the intervention of NAT in constructing a bridge over the river. Drivers, they come in their numbers to the office, telling us when it is raining, they can't move. I was more than happy when uh, the consultant came to me that they want to do the bridge. So I give them all the maximum help they needed, and it has come to reality today. She said development should not be the sole responsibility of government and asked other organizations and associations to also contribute to national development. The Mobile Congress is underway in Barcelona, Spain. And as we made you aware, our man, Alfredo Canse, is there and has brought us some 
update. And in a bid to make it a reality, Samsung has also clarified that the Samsung S9 and S9 Plus are compatible with the latest version of the company's Gear VR, which was launched last year. The mobile manufacturing giant has collaborated with NASA to bring a lunar gravity experience to its customers on Earth. Alfred Kansi uh, joins us with updates from the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. All right, so we're still exploring the technology that Samsung is unleashing and unveiling uh, the Mobile World Congress 2018. An amazing, uh, revolutionary and groundbreaking uh, technology that they're putting out there. So they're giving you a real space experience. You just don't, don't need to get into a space shuttle to get into space. All you need to do is get your Samsung S9 or S9 Plus and you're there. Stuart James uh, is part of this particular team uh, that's been working on this and he's indicated Samsung has been working with NASA for the past 18 months to put this real space experience you're seeing right there uh, to you, the customers. Stuart, it's good to have you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Now, tell me a bit about what we're seeing right now uh, with, with this mission to space. For all well, mankind. The, the, the whole idea is really um, the moon itself has only ever been visited by 12 astronauts and our whole idea is to make the moon open for all mankind, for everybody to visit. So using the power of Samsung technology uh, and some very, very good best in class and industry partners, we've managed to uh, take inspiration from NASA's astronaut training rig and build a small scale version of that. Uh, the project has been just gone live here in Mobile World Congress and is becoming bigger uh, and will be growing into lots of different sites over uh, coming 2018. Fantastic. Wow. So, so what does that mean? I mean, I need to get a VR gear? So you will need a uh, powerful Samsung device, whether it's a Note 8 or their recently launched S9. Uh, and it's all powered by the Gear VR2 and Samsung's technology allows you to see things that you wouldn't normally see, the mm. infinite possibilities of, of VR. So we're very excited about the collaboration. We hope that everybody here at Mobile World Congress really enjoys the experience. Uh, and what we're trying to demonstrate is the power and reach of this technology. And this is all in the S9, S9 Plus. Yeah. People can enjoy uh, if you have the Gear VR. Yeah and you're going to have that space experience. Fantastic. Wow. So, uh, I mean, uh, the, the people who are watching us right now from Ghana and obviously from, from the, uh, across the world, what's the excitement that this mission to space brings to them? So I guess the first time that I put the Gear VR headset on, I took my first step into lunar gravity. It's an immense feeling. It Amazing. feels like you're doing something that you've never done before. So I can only recommend that you have a go <laughs> and truly have a feeling of what it looks like to, uh, to walk on the moon. Wow. So we're, we're actually not going to get into a space shuttle, but yeah. we will be okay. on the moon. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Stuart James, uh, walking yeah, us yeah. through this um, space experience. What you're seeing right now is, is someone in there who is not actually uh, in space, but because of this technology by Samsung, uh, with help from NASA, this we've been spending for the past 18, 18 months uh, and NASA, getting support from them to put this mission to space and moon for all mankind right there. You need to get a powerful Samsung phone uh, with your Gear VR and you are going to be in space and enjoy uh, that space experience. That's what this man in there is enjoying right now, jumping on around, jumping on the moon, and well, like a mini astronaut or, 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 or sort. But I have the, an astronaut here, he's, he's dressed as that and enjoying himself, telling us exactly what the space experience really looks like. So that's him giving us a look and feel of what the space experience is all about. Hey, buddy. So you want to wave to the cameras? Sorry? So you want to wave to the cameras? Yeah. OK. So that's him um, demonstrating what, is, what you're going to be seeing, the mission to space. This is mission to space, a moon for all mankind. Beautiful uh, experience you would have all made possible by Samsung. 
Expect more updates on this Congress in our subsequent bulletins. And uh, back in Ghana, the police in Tema have launched a manhunt for four armed robbers who shot dead a Lebanese businessman. The deceased, Ahmed Safiya Din, was returning from a bank with 200 Ghana cities when some gunmen attacked him at about 10 Tuesday morning. The 54-year deceased Ahmed Safiadin is a cashier at a soap manufacturing company, Delta Agro Company Limited in Tema. According to the Tema Regional Police Public Relations Officer, ASP Joseph Benefodakwa, the victim went to withdraw the 200,000 cities meant to pay workers' salaries. The victim was in a Toyota Corolla saloon when he was suddenly accosted by four armed men a few meters from his workplace. The robbers fired several gunshots into his vehicle, robbed him of the money and bolted away in a four-wheel drive. The victim was rushed to the Rafael Hospital in Tema but was pronounced dead on arrival. The body has since been conveyed to the 37 military hospital for preservation and autopsy. And now to education, where pupils of Akronwi RC Basic School study in a poor structure. The structure is constructed with roofing sheets and produces heat, particularly during hot afternoons. Bridges Gabra has this report from Akronwi in the Adjusso Jabin municipality on the plight of the school. The structure generates heat, making teaching and learning difficult during the day. Classes are sometimes suspended. Pupils and teachers are also exposed to health risks as they sit in the dusty room. PTA chairman Solomon Edubuahin says classrooms get muddy when it rains. As a result, the PTA agreed with the school authorities to introduce first aid levy where some first aid is given to pupils who fall sick while in school. <laughs> The children fall sick often. A former assembly member for Akronwe Wabri electoral area, Stephen Dadum, during whose tenure the old structure was pulled down, explained efforts made to get a decent classroom for the pupils. Wrote letters on letters, but no effort has been made. And my term of office ended, so I left the post and gave to the new current. And I think he's also making an effort. But if you call the MP, if you go to the assembly, they, there's nothing they are doing about it. The municipal chief executive for Ejusu Joabin, Beatrice Sewadechi, expressed shock at the development. She gave assurance a team will be dispatched to the school to assess the situation for immediate intervention. We can find a church, plead with the church for them to use the church premises for uh, the school until we find a suitable place for them. Enjoy the Ghana month with us here on New Day. Just capture yourself and let's say any African prince, what you're eating African, is it cocoa, is it wheat or tom brown? Just capture it to us, send it to our WhatsApp line 050-823-5228. So we'll share it with the rest of the world. My name is George Quindy. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Time for newspaper headlines. Let's start off with Guardian Times. It says... Ghana, Germany must scale up investment cooperation. That's coming from our president. Also, armed robbers have gunned down a Lebanese, 54 years old, and made away with 200,000 Ghana CDs. Also, tax stamp takes off today. And, but water producers threaten to shut down over implementation of policy. And then finally, police in firm control of security situation. Guys, yesterday we were just talking about the security situation mm. and we said we didn't think we were safe and yet again we were hit with another armed robbery attack leading mm. to the death of a human life. I mean, mm. this 
security issue. I don't know whether we're not taking it serious enough or we just feel that the robbers have gone, you know, to sleep. Because I heard Mr. Ambrose Derry say that during the Calm Lives operation in Christmas time, we didn't see so many of these attacks. The robbers didn't seem to be high. Their activities weren't heightened. And maybe they attributed it to the police being visible, being around or being mm. more in the community to deal with it. I don't know if that's really the situation or now it's just the fact that the armed robbers know where the police are not available and they know how to attack better and make away with their booty and you know kill people and just run away it's it's well, a sad it, situation it's, it's now for me it's not a new thing mm. um uh, to hear uh the minister of interior uh talk about uh, issues like that the fact that the police is still on top of the uh job this is not the first time uh, there's conversation about the fact that uh, some Ghanaians do not feel safe. Mm. It has happened several times over and over again. The conversation has gone into public domain. Mm. Um, the concerns have been raised. The, the rhetoric you hear from officials, the interior minister, the national security, and even some uh, government communicators mm. is that, hey, the police is uh, in, in charge. The police is in control of everything. But day in and day out, we, we hear of stories of armed robbery. Those that get printed in the newspapers, you mm -hmm. hear those that get uh, featured on TV mm -hmm. and on radio. You hear, but if all that we keep hearing is that um, we're on top, we're, we're, we're planning to deal mm -hmm. with it, then I don't know how safe we'll be. Yeah. In the story in the Ghanaian Times, you hear Mr. Derry saying that, for instance, the accident that uh, the, the robbery that occurred at uh, Royal Motors, mm -hmm. If the police service had a helicopter, okay, they, those guys could have been tracked right. and and uh, uh, apprehended. Right. So, is it a case of the state of Ghana mm. cannot, let's say, in in one month, acquire a helicopter? Mm. Is that the case? I'm sure or they can. What is it? Um, I am sure there are people in Ghana who mm. private persons who, if mm -hmm. they want to own um any car of your choice they can get that car ordered and within a month it will it could get to Ghana. certainly is it are we being told that from when these armed robberies started when people were complaining about armed robbers mm. we cannot acquire that helicopter hmm. so that it will take us ghana the country of ghana two years to acquire or three years or four years or five years to acquire a helicopter to to track I'm robbers. Hmm. Is that the situation? <laughs> well, right. You, you, know why, you know why you know why I think that this whole <laughs> helicopter business is laughable and not achievable. Mm. You remember uh, Dr. You Albert mean we Brown can't Gazi? Buy a helicopter? No, I'm, I'm we, coming. Okay. Dr. Albert Brown Gazi went Fire to uh, mm. the former chief fire officer, mm -hmm. went to parliament and told them that they can't fight fires beyond the sixth floor mm. and that they require what? Uh, helicopters like. to fight it. Billy and Aglati had been doing that. In fact, the parliamentarians themselves were pet terrified because mm -hmm. their job 600 is more than the sit mm -hmm. floor. Mm. Okay. Fast forward to 2018. Mm -hmm. What has happened? Uh, you remember that in 2017, Dr. Indum's place, the GN yeah. uh, bank, got, got burnt. Mm -hmm. Again, Billy and Aglati rehashed that, look, we need those helicopters, even if we have to share you know, among ourselves, yes. because the military has it. But right. even if we have to make it that a national security uh, and, and everybody else can As share and when it. you need it. From that time hmm. till now, how many months has it been? Now, it's Mr. Ambrose Derry telling us that when he got to the Ministry of Interior, he didn't get handing over notes. When he was part of the transition team, didn't he get uh, that indication that yeah. these were critical needs that we, we have? Yeah. Why is he making the announcement at this point? Is it just to calm the nerves of Ghanaians who are not so excited about it? I am hinging on the shocking revelation made by a senior police officer yesterday to Media General's Kamala Kluche that there are about five policemen to one Kalashnikov, one rifle. Five yeah, that's to not one rifle. At all. For now, me it's not he is also mentioning that mm. guns that were given to the police as far back in the 90s are yeah. what they are using now. Yeah. Even private citizens who own guns and have mm. licenses and are registered change they their guns as, yeah. as the years move mm -hmm. on. So what happened? If we're talking about retooling the police, did it include the guns or were just interested in getting them the vehicles and the, and the motorbikes to ride on? Yeah. 
Kofi Boachi had said earlier in 2013 mm. that even the bulletproof vest that the police have slows them down. Mm. Fast forward to 2018. What is the nature of the bulletproof that they have? So then you are wondering, um, you know, how how all these nuances come to play mm. and whether or not we should take it when the police tells us we are safe. And somebody says that, well, if they come to declare that perhaps this is what the actual situation is, it may give the, the robbers a lot of mm. things to think right. about. Mm. But then we, we must know. face the reality. Yeah. Now, COP Kofi Boachi, for example, I've seen people start a hashtag on Twitter and, and on social media, bring back Kofi Boachi. Yeah. But I want to ask the question, <laughs> can one man make a difference yeah, can. if the fair. entire service has a fundamental, intrinsic <laughs> problem that they are not solving yet? Can just one man make a difference? No. Okay, no, no. so Mr. Kofi Boachi is in charge of research. Mm. Does that include intelligence gathering of okay. course and, uh, and, sure. and if it includes intelligence gathering the recommendations mm -hmm. that he puts nice. out there how do we harness and use it for example for a man who has a lot of expertise in, in grabbing and arresting mm -hmm. armed robbers how do we use his expertise yeah. especially from a research point of view two does he have the res resources to perform that research in depth and detail so that we can use because i maintain mm -hmm. that policing is not just muscles and height yeah. it is about intelligence gathering oh. so that when as a country we decide to put height over intelligence that before you get into the military the police fire service immigration mm -hmm. you must have 5.7 or 5 point something mm -hmm. and then there may not be something inside your head mm -hmm. then you're wondering where right. exactly we're going yeah Johnny, I, and I, Bwachi, I, I, I remember a hot issues conversation finally yeah. Kofi Bwachi said that if the people are not trained well mm -hmm. i mean i'm talking about police personnel right. they could have their guns all the weapons in the world, yeah. and they could be shooting fight. themselves. Yeah. 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 Johnny, they could be I, killing I am themselves. thinking that uh, in as much as um, the government, the interior ministry says that government is trying hard to deal with this, I think that there's nothing wrong with mm. getting the military to be part of what Fighting is happening. This, mm. yeah. For me, if it means, if there's any legal things mm. uh, that have to be done to get mm. uh, the, the, uh, the military to leave their barracks mm. and join the police, on their night patrols. Mm -hmm. I think it should be done. But, but, but the joint because military and yeah. police patrols, I, I'm sure what was was there. So and no, which no, is no, why no, there was for, a calm, for, yes. calmness. But now where so there's now, an increase so or now, heightened... Clearly, you mm. can see that the police are overwhelmed. Yeah. They can decide to say that they are not. Mm. But we outside well, those can who feel are feeling that they're overwhelmed. Yes. Yeah. We feel they're unable to track the armed robbers. I mean, no matter which people you have arrested, is I, I, whether from the forex bureaus or not, yeah. we feel that you're overwhelmed. I yeah. think that the, the, the military must quickly be made to get onto the street right. and be part of the process. I mean, we can't wake up the chilling stories of people mm. getting Using killed their in their homes every day, daughters seeing their fathers being killed. It's, it's, it's simply not very good. I think that the military should yeah. be left. To be led to come out of their barracks and yeah. they have the police but it dealing with it they have always done it and it, 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 it works but I, I, you I, know i think when at this point where we all are upset about it government for me i don't think they're really committed to fighting it why do i say this we all know that the proliferation of small arms is a reality. Right. It is here. They should start tackling it from there because, Johnny, even though the armed robbers are already in the system, we can't clamp down on all of right. them. But if they don't have arms, at least the effect of their you know, activities will, will, will be minimized because right. mm -hmm. you don't take lives, at least. So far as you take away money, the person lives, they can even work and support their family. So mm -hmm. that's, but when the arms are there, every single person seems to be able to just access an arm and not one, not two, but many, several, and they form a group and they're so confident that because they have it, they can do, get away with anything because they know how the police works. We're overwhelmed, and so by the time you call them and they'll reach, you know, your aid, I'm gone. I'm mm. done away with the money. And that's where we should start from. Let's not even talk about the helicopters now because you and I know for how many years we'll be talking about it. So they'll get them the helicopters, and then very soon we'll talk about fueling that. We'll also talk about getting a place to even land it. <laughs> so, I mean, Look, I'm let's deal with it. Let's see ones we can you, start you know, with. You know, let's work with those ones. I, for one, I mean, this thing happened in broad daylight. It was early morning. It's not even <laughs> in the evening. And so I'm wondering, <laughs> no. around which enclave would That's you even see a policeman? Which mm. part in that locality? Where is the policeman stationed to be able to pick up that, okay, something is even happening mm. in, say, place A. By the time we arrive, maybe within five minutes, we can get there. Let's, let's, let's yeah. help the police. It's you see, around the industrial area, mm. 
there are all the factories there right. because they don't want their staff to steal their produce or what they mm. produce mm. they have they all have cctv cameras mm -hmm. out there mm. all the factories right. mm. apart from those who don't have but mm. almost all oh, the factories yeah. have it i mean they have an external one so on that stretch mm. and it happened outside yeah. the police and this is a very free advice to all mm. of them they could go there and tap into all those companies close by, mm. pick their footages, and they can identify these people. Mm. You see, uh, my father's friend, who was, who was also a security couple, mm. told me that, look, when, when people are arrested for armed robbery, mm. and we pick their guns, we brandish them, we show them that we have arrested these people, it almost ends there. Because we do not go to trace where those people the acquired guns those guns from. Exactly. We are ready to say that we have arrested them, we have jailed them, end of story. Where they got their guns from? Because we if people can have AK-47, Kalashnikov, and they can have strips of bullets, many. That is. Are they going to war? I'm, I'm That's always, I'm issue. always worried about where the the helicopter will yes. uh, park. Right, but the, we've had there's it. There's a structure at uh, helipad, the, the helipad, <laughs> no hotel, uh, yeah, the helipad, the octagon uh, building. Yeah, so helipad. see helipad. if here. We are being attacked. By the time they pack and walk <laughs> here, they might as well have taken <laughs> their buses here. Anyway, guys, oh, we're they, seeing they will, Ghana. They will, they will hang and then use the stairs. Anyway, <laughs> let's run. We're seeing, right. feeling, eating, smelling, bathing, doing everything Ghana. But what are you doing about that? Let's see. Today, send us pictures of yourselves in African print, also the food, Ghanaian dishes you are cooking this morning. And let's talk about that. The, but the, George the, hits the, the streets hashtag, of Accra. The hashtag is we right. celebrate GH. Yes. The we hashtag across social media is we celebrate GH. GH, and there's nothing sweeter than Ghana. Yeah. If you have a passport and you have not traveled before, this is the time to brandish <laughs> it. <today. laughs> anyway, guys, George has daily rant for you. Let's say this. <laughs> Okay, so enough of my shenanigans. Of course, this has given me away. It's the month of Ghana. It's a see, eat, wear, and feel Ghana campaign. It's for the whole of the month, March. Are you ready? And so the big question is, how well can we promote made in Ghana goods? Have we even lost the fight? This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Mwai already said, mube di bibia Ghana. Mube kasa bibia Ghana. Bibia, mube she bibia Ghana. Mwai already. My crowd. Obian ready. Yeah, yeah. I crowd also. Yeah, was some car. Then what? Obian ready. Me 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 ready because of the baby. I just say Ghana for because young person could have focus school for say almost English. Yes, and then I just say Ghana for. Some people say month of some case month of March. Na eh 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 eh. Say Obian she Ghana Ghana tadi. Obian di Ghana duane. Obian ye Ghana duane. And then I'm going to say month of March. No, the whole school no. Obian mo Obian kabro for Obian country. Ni mo se ni mo se. We are the month of the. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
a back check akra because ye di kan say ye ho ne force ni ya brofo nya mpenifo na kasa kra no suit yi no mo shiu ma sim pa bo e go say wahye bia na ye say weekend na o wo fie no no o shade ana nti nti ba so ko baby papa papa dia on shake ma sim pa bo an fe nko no bi me kasa hwe pa bo e shano nti no e be ye din kakra na we we so ma dwen je ne say won say Bonnie can't say me say a good leader must set an example. But your pressure is set. For example, for example, for example, to follow. Me who ye? Who's your chef? Tuma. One of the countries we make me. I'm a cook on Facebook. Eh, we make you if you and us today. We need dress not the buy. The crew, the new fun na go home. I'm not the buy bet ni mu. Ghana my embrace the Ghana empty for ye. Eko was for ko ha ko ba. Because say one of the best chef to matter ya ko. Obi a pursue to ane bu ya dini ya ko ya kase. We na ba. Inti no ni adi be ye juma. Então o homem a casa é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é é Was it really well? I don't think so. That's why it was standard, standard mode of communication. And then the same way, you see, Afghan and Yemen. The same way, the same way. Because China, they were Ghana. The same way, I'll come on on it. I'm, I'm, I'm English. I'm English. English language. I'm respecting us. I'm not even respecting your three language. You know, three different languages. Yes, she Ghana and Taria. I need you to go to Yemen for this month. March, I'll be seeing you in India. And then another tree, a brofunu, so you're in Yemen. So tree, you're in for Yemen. Kobe Biadi. And then Taria, you're in for Yemen. Kobe Biadi. Mostly, yeah, she made in Ghana in your mind. I remember last year, let me pay slippers be a wedding. A local maid, okay, yes, 400 Ghana. But you could okay, it be a crown, so no, yes, I Italian shoes, Nibia. When you are 250, in tea, compare quality, compare quality. I did a Ghana, I brought you 400, I brought you, and I brought you 250. In tea. Where would I get the money to buy local made now? Mupe say Anton. Inti I think say yensu efi yen. Yemu aye local entrepreneurs. Inti anka list yensu yen who do we bet me a price here in your man? Who is it? Eh, me betro di inti a yeni ni amano eto debi a costro ne se sa brofone ba yekuru muha. Amo so pe yeni amano e di akwa koflezi o mukuru so abar Africa. Inti ni yen blacks no yehu a brofua ni yensu maya se sa. Me chawa no oko art center. Adi oboni beto ebi ya we hu artifact bi. Ebi ya beto mano hundred gana. Maybe black man mekwa. Ye ntongo surprise ne mami. Ni yeshuba ase sa. Na sa de nesi ye guy because se mi ami nyongu bi bini wa ya de na beto owa. I saw the bank bond rate price. I mi meti mi ato. So na ebi ya aman fon so beto ne mo na usuwe ni usika. Ba ye bi before na kasa ne ye problem. So de ne ne kanho anti ya ye mi ama ye ya na ne boy de into the center. Abrofu ne nam yoku mo na mama na mama ni ama ne boy. Aye kusho. So if events are obunu to me, I think far ahead, more than Asa. He said our leaders no omu to me prepare because he said ano. So leader na kasa e usu tundra. Any events eh 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 vi eti ne kanwa. Nasi wakasa wakasa ye mfu local things. Ene wase ni ye ko kanta kawo. Ye kanta kaka ni ye ni ye fu. Ye fu mo. So I say ye fu because eh eh eh. Ene pa kofu wakasa ni bo edi. Eh eh ni bo edi say. Na o tu 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 na mo o mo ye le ni ni bo ni edi. So I say ni me ni me ni ye ju. Ube ye mo kura na kanta kaka ni ni bo edi. Eh but as eh. Eh. Is it compulsory? For us to wear our local, right direction. They are not forcing. 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 In the back, quite three crowns and a South African one, no, a bay age man. I banish say you're promoting made in Ghana, Gusa. I only say we've lost it. I say, like, like you lose the fight, Nana. Right, right. They say, I'm a Yabasu cry, I blow for no more by. I don't move for no more to turn on my mammy, yes, you're near Cosso. They are Yira cry. They say, I blow for your money cry, those who may have seen you. Okay, you be a lot of air with any of you. And so, can you get in a yef, a yef, a punk, or is it? But Yira, Yira, a yef, 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 a I'm made in Ghana goose no. They are the go with it. We do our own say we there. They are wearing Ghana made in Ghana goose. They be like North, Water. 
Wana. Asa, uh, those areas now they acquire ones that they were made in Ghana goods. Mm. They cherish what they have. Mm. I'm on time say, hey, but mm. maybe like mm. Accra had no money, Tema no money in India. And the central phone and the corner, the ones of Bia, I say, Bia, episode or she brought in life. But Oko, nothing region here as a phone. They cherish what they have. Fuguya, I will say, on one on way. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to I got away in Penifon and Casa Bibia Company. Oh, Nimis and Nipa Wink, I was say, Me man pay say, or better so, one man a kitty 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 kitty. May I just say, many than I will maybe any change or better or any dear mess, and I said, I can't make a quarter to any dear. Oh, my dear, no, 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 then I'll be here to ensure that you're going to promote your new man made in Ghana goods effectively. You're going to your president. Then I'll be here. What will be your first thing? Oh, maybe there. There, maybe my promote your new man. Maybe, maybe make sure that I'm not going to be able to promote it. But the tax is better to be here. So I'm going to be here to promote it. Now, made in Ghana goods, I'm going to reduce the tax. Now, I say, I'm going to be here to promote it. And I'm going to be here to promote it. I'm going to be here to promote it. I'm going to be here to promote it. Made in Ghana, and you know, 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 you Tree no eden, edi be mu pa because every time me tree, tree eden, e value mu so as e. Ena 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 if any say e yenta de shemu so as e. Ena if any say ni ni mo ni mo kiti kiti bi o as e o correct no eden. Na me e no no. Ye 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 bi bi a nye Ghana. Ti se se na kwa mi kruma o ko ye na o di aiywa ni e e e tapolini bi bi a ko e no. O mu hu se. Yeah, yeah, Africa. And to yeah, Africa. Yeah. 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 Are you ready to eat, drink, wear, and feel Ghana? That's the campaign for the month of March. It's Ghana month. Let's know your thoughts on this. Log on to our social media platforms on Facebook. It's news on TV3. And on Twitter, it's a news TV3. You can just wear anything African. Just capture it and send it to us. Our WhatsApp line is 050-823-5228. And just flaunt it on our screens. Thanks for watching. Back and uh, newspapers uh, continue to carry the story of another uh, robbery there. The Daily Guide puts it, Lebanese shot dead in another daylight robbery. Daily graphic, cashier gunned down in, in Tema. Robbers escaped with 200,000 CD booty. Uh, other stories on the front page of the Daily Graphic, 70% of houses, Accra houses, without titles and dismissed suit against Amidu, Attorney General told. And the Times has uh, the armed robbery story, and also Ghana, Germany must scale up investment cooperation. And the UMB speed up uh, to enhance bank transactions comes with a photograph of the chief executive, John Iwa. Uh, Heritage uh, takes a detour and says, Jalen of Abuga Pele Asibit, there were bigger fishes, says director of YA. That's a story, and fuel prices to go down again. Uh, that's a prediction from the Institute of Energy Studies. We're told today, yes, starts. My guest to do the talking this morning, a government spokesperson to my extreme uh, left, a member of the uh, NPP, Herbert Cramper, is here. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for your time with me. And then a member of the NDC's team uh, is also here, Seydou Fita, is with me. Good morning, too. Good morning, Hope you're guys. doing great. I'm fine. And thanks for your time this morning. Let's begin mm -hmm. with uh, what uh, certainly is on the lips of every uh, resident of Accra, perhaps uh, across the country. And um, the series of armed robberies in uh, Accra and other parts of 
the country and uh, were told by the um, Minister of the Interior that the police is in firm control. That's a story carried by the Ghanaian Times. It says that in the face of the increased armed robbery witnessed in recent times, the Interior Minister Ambrose Derry has assured that security agencies are on top of the situation and will track down the perpetrators behind the attacks. He said, I want to assure that we are containing the situation effectively. I can assure you that the police haven't lost control at all, uh, he told uh, newsmen in Parliament in Accra yesterday. And um, the police is also coming. Uh, they said that those who robbed the Forex bureaus, 20 of them have been arrested. In fact, uh, the Daily Graphic is reporting that the Royal uh, Motors robbery, the police, uh, has actually grabbed uh, two persons. Uh, they will not put out their uh, identity for uh, security reasons. That's where we are with the situation. Herbert, let me start with you. Uh, is the public legitimate in asking that uh, more is done to protect them? Well, I thank you. Mm. And um, let's say a good morning to your cherished viewers. I think a call by the public mm. on the police to ask that more is done to protect the public is in the right direction. Um, I think that citizens' lives and property and uh, all of what is involved in the current uh, matters that we are witnessing are valuable matters and therefore the public is legitimate and is justified in asking that the police do more uh, in protecting us. But how would the police do more? We must look at the issues from source, right. from the base, and see that we can find lasting solutions to them. We, tackle, we must tackle the issue of resourcing. It is important to resource the police adequately because that is what goes into training, that is what goes into logistical issues of equipment, of tooling, of retooling, of retraining, uh, so that the police of intelligence gathering, for instance, so that the police can be on top. The police work is in two folds. They are proactive and they are reactive. Often, we don't see the proactive side of the work they do. Otherwise, we will wake up every day with a plethora of these stories. But we find pockets of them here and there. And when they seem to be on the increase, the public is worried. Right. And we, we, we call that they do more. In terms of even the reactive side, we cannot say that there's been a total dereliction of duty on the part of the police. You know about Kwabenya. The police would move in quickly uh, do a swoop, arrest uh, suspects, even the Royal Motors incident. You were just telling us that right. the police say that they have yeah, arrested, two people. arrested two people and they're in the process of investigating. The police are challenged because you may say that in a daylight robbery, where are the police to come and uh, save us, to come and save the people? But the police, while they are trying to bring down these armed people, must ensure that they do not harm innocent life. And we must bear that in mind when we are criticizing the work they do and when we are calling on them mm. to do more. That is why I think, for instance, the interior ministers uh, 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 putting out that police are in the process of securing helicopters and drones. I think it's a, a step in the right direction and it's all in 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 connection with resourcing them. The president has said that 800 million Ghana cities has been made available for the police to, to, to resource them and to uh, equip them to recruit more. The police force is about 33,000. Uh, if you look at the population numbers, that mm. is woefully inadequate. And, but they cannot recruit more if they, not have, they do not have clearance from finance ministry, for instance. How would they pay them? That also becomes an issue for the government. So I think that we must look at the problem 
in the different compartments in which it belongs. Resourcing is critical. Right. And the government is not sleeping. The government is devoting money. La getting ending of last year, the president relaunched the Operation Calm Life, which is also a very critical step in dealing with these issues. The collaboration between the police and the armed force, the soldiers, military. The police are about 33,000. Mm. We have a military population of about, what, 12,000? The police, if you say that, you should deploy the military. Add them to, uh, Add the, them the, to the night patrol. To the night patrol. Mm. I think that the Operation Calm Life, in which the president, the 200 vehicles immediately were made available to that operation and some motorbikes. I think that that is a, a good step. Perhaps they should add some more, um, but I don't think entirely that putting more military men in that operation is probably the best approach. I think that mm. the police themselves... Can do it? They can. In the circumstances they find themselves? The police have shown that they can rise above the challenge to do their work. I think that the, we must have confidence in them and give them information that they need to do their work. These things that you are seeing, I am more than convinced that there's a, a, a high degree of insider information involved in the spade these robberies of financial institutions that we are seeing mm. while the uh, the criminals are getting inside information i think we too must cooperate more with the police have confidence in them give them the information that we can't give them and and government must also resource the police adequately training is important a lot of police people the intelligence department of the police service must 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 do more. But 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 but, but Herbert, of course, government will do that. And now the armed robber is holding a head to uh, a gun to your head, and could government be talking about training at this time when the the robber has a gun to your head? Oh, of course. So what what immediately can we do to 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 slow down the robbers while we train these men, retool them, and get them to be on top of the job? Well, I think that the police would react to the situation, and they are doing so. They are m taking steps to deploy more men, They're s taking steps for more visibility, f incre they are increasing night patrols. These fin financial centers too, day in, day out, you see new ones sprouting and coming up. And it looks as if the current strategy of these criminals is to go in there during the day and and put their guns on people's heads and 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 rob them but we too must be responsible in large part for our security you go and withdraw 200,000 Ghana cities from a bank day during the day I think we and you are alone I think we must be I'm not saying you can't go to the bank to withdraw your own money. But I think we too, there's some citizen participation mm. there that you must be conscious that if you're withdrawing 200,000 Ghana cities, putting, taking it from the bank, putting it in your car booth, and you are alone, I think you should be a bit conscious that somebody may be watching, may tra trail you, and may have a weapon and if they deployed it on you, you may be at their mercy. Ah, but of course, I'm not saying at all that that means that the police must not do what they must to ensure that citizens are safe. It is the responsibility and the duty of the police. Government is resourcing them and must continue to resource them. The 800 million Ghana cities is immediately going into equipping them into retooling, retraining, into uh, hiring more into the police force to ensure that they continue to combat these these criminals and 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 something that must be in the past. Herbert, I'm grateful. Uh, Sedu, mm -hmm. so uh, we are in this state. Uh, some feel that uh, 
the police isn't doing enough. Uh, some have even suggested that uh, perhaps uh, a, a, a kind of a race shuffle or perhaps the, the, the IGP must give way to a new direction in order to deal with it. From where you sit, you see the police able to handle the situation we are in? Right. Good morning to you. Good morning to your cherished listeners, especially members of the NDC in the Tolong constituency. That's my home. And good morning to Herbert, <laughs> my long lost friend. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, these are difficult times in our country where you can't walk on our streets in the morning and in the night with uh, confidence that you get home safely. Um, it's a worrying situation. And yesterday, I took time to read a research conducted by Dr. Enin of the Kofi Annan International Peace uh, Keeping Center. And when he put out the statistics, I was so worried. Comparing the number of crimes that were committed in Accra alone in 2017, and how it doubled in 2018 from January to February. To February. And I realized that government need to take a lot of serious work in maintaining this safety in our system. Herbert talked about the issue of government funding the police with an amount of money. And I think that, look, there's genesis to every problem that we have in this country, as in the way it started. From the time the MPP came to office, you know we recorded a number of vigilante activities where you have party foot soldiers going to burn toll booths that they could not seize in a responsible manner. You have party foot soldiers going to the Flagstaff house to attack policemen in front of you know, all security operatives, etc. And we're expecting the government to go beyond the rhetorics by prosecuting people to serve as deterrent to those who are going to come out today and involve themselves in these activities. And these vigilante groups, remember, they were those who were used during the primaries. And I listened to Kennedy Ajepong on several TV stations who mentioned that he was sponsoring these groups to man ballot boxes. And after elections, they were promising them employment. And so when the employment is not coming, what do you expect? You expect them to attack state organizations or state offices to make sure that they are able to make ends meet. Seven months down the line, a leader of this uh, Delta Forces, I listened to him, UTV granted him an interview, and he mentioned to them that what they have recorded, the country has recorded in their vigilante attacks was just a tip of an iceberg. And they asked them what they were going to do, their next line of action, after they dragged that uh, security coordinator, Shanti Regional Security Coordinator from the stairs, and he said they were going to cause mayhem if employment are not coming. So what is your point? And my, my point is that, look, if you are not dealing with people within your fold to deter others from doing what is happening today, for instance, if I am a member of the vigilante group, that is Delta Forces, and you promise me employment, at the end of the day, if the work is not coming, then I take to the street with my gun, turn myself into an arm robber to make ends meet. When you look at the police statistics, for instance, you are supposed to have visibility of police where you have 100 people. Mm. Today, you can go around even where 1,000 people are located and you won't even find one security man or a policeman. When MPP came to office, he was talking about recruitment. They sacked over 200 young men who were going under training at the police school. And these were issues... Because they had some, uh, uh, some irregularities with their documents. What, were, That's the what, what were, were the irregularities? This was completely political. I see. This was completely political. And I think that the MPP could have done more better in the way they sacked these young men. Look, if you think that some people have problems with issues regarding their documents that they used to be picked, you can investigate properly and throw the figures out for the people of Ghana to see. Then when any time at all, another government is, comes in and they are coming to sack another bunch of policemen because they are not aligned to their political party, then we can come defending it. But if you just come and start sacking people because you think they are not in the same political party with well, you. Well, that is what you and, think. But and, I, I, I think the police service said that there were some irregularities with the documentation they, that they used. They the said it schools. openly, but there was no evidence to back the claim they were making. Okay. And the other aspect of it is that, you see, when you go to withdraw money, 
and that is with regards to what happened yes, yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. When you go to withdraw money at the tune of 200,000, that is 2 billion old Ghana cities. Right. I think that you should have an escort from your office to the bank. And I was asking myself, according to the news that we read, they said he withdrew their money to go and pay his workers. Couldn't they have opened an account with a bank and in the process of receiving their money, then they pay their taxes? So to say that you are going to withdraw this amount of money from the bank to pay workers means one, they are going to even escape the payment of taxes. They are going to escape the payment of national health insurance levy on their allowance, allowances or salaries, etc. And I think that next time, this just serves as you know an example to others, though it's a bad example, that next time when you are going to the bank to withdraw such an amount of money, you need a police escort. And I am sure, even at the banks, you have policemen who could have given you more advice or intelligence advice. And I think that I suspect something. Nobody or an armed robber cannot just know that this person has withdrawn up to 200,000 Ghana City from the bank yeah. if no intel has been given from the sources of the bank or the workers of, you know, this uh, Lebanese man. And so I think the states have a lot to do when it comes to issues of security. And we shouldn't take it as a joke. Yesterday, I listened to the Minister of uh, Interior right. who said the police are on top of their job. Nobody is saying they are not on top of their job, but they are under-resourced. We need to recruit more police. This is a priority we must place on our country because if we are talking about jobs all over, you are getting the jobs and yet people are coming to kill you and take away your money, then it means it is an issue to be worried about. The government needs to employ more police or recruit more police. Even, you know, at the time of, uh, uh, at the time where we want to grow, to move to the stage of the developed countries where we even have uh, what do you call it um, problems with regards to even our own security then th there's a problem with uh, 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 what we're doing now let's let's see what the government will do okay and, uh, so that in future anybody at all if you are moving for instance yesterday i came in late to accra and when I was getting out of the car, I was so worried. I was very scared because I didn't know what would happen to me. When I got home. Oh, from where? <laughs> from Circle <laughs> to Northridge. I was so scared because, because I, of the stories. Because you know, of the that, stories yeah. I was reading. I was in a car with a policeman, uh, with a soldier when I was coming to the house. And he was suggesting that well, if the Yeah. <laughs> he was suggesting that if the government will give them or the police their superiors will give them the rule to shoot to kill and not shoot to mime. He was saying that if they are only shooting to mine. It can never deter away the uh, arm robbers. Mm. But if they give them the free rule, shoot but to the, kill. The, the police don't even have the. I mean, a the, soldier man. The, yes. A soldier but man. the police men, for instance, they don't even have the weapons to shoot. I mean, uh, no, I, I heard you saying it this morning. Mm. But I am giving an aspect of a soldier uh, man to, who was saying to the, that to if, the they, if they get an order for them to shoot and kill, within two weeks' time, they will be able to clamp down all these arm robbers. <laughs> but if they are just going to shoot and mine, mm. then I saw that military work in them. Let's see how we can cooperate the two by the security right. apparatus Grateful. to see what will happen. Right. Let's jump to this one in the Ghanaian Times this morning. Uh, the pig 17 says the tax stamp takes off today. Uh, the National Association of Sachet and Packaged Water Producers has threatened a possible shutdown of uh, production due to challenges arising out of the implementation of the tax stamp policy. The stamps are small stickers with security features to be supplied by government to manufacturers and importers of tobacco, alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, uh, bottled water and textiles during the first phase of implementation before the products are released onto the market. The policy which was scheduled to commence today was also to ensure that more people and businesses honor their tax obligations and further provide significant guarantee that the products were authentic. The Minister of Finance stated previously that the implementation of the tax stamp policy was not an imposition of an additional tax by government, but it's a measure by pr to protect genuine businesses from uh, counterfeit uh, one. Now, this is where the Sashi Water people are not happy. Now, they say that uh, it's a good one, it's a good policy. However, the cost involved in purchasing the tax are fixing machine is a concern. They are talking about $800,000, between $800,000 and $1 million to get it. And they said they don't have the money uh, to get it. Again, they are suggesting that 
in the interim, they would have to use what government has provided at the Tema port. Uh, they claim that it's likely to inconvenience them. So producers, and it will impact adversely on productivity. Uh, that's their worry. But Herbert, once again, uh, starting with you, uh, this tax, uh, tax stamp is received some kind of back and forth uh, about when to start uh, producers not too happy about it. Have we done the enough consultation? Have we taken into consideration these concerns um, of these producers? They claim that if we force them to, to do this, they are going to lay down workers because it increases their cost of production. Have we done enough? to take off today? Uh, well, my understanding is that this is a law that was passed in 2013 right. and received presidential accent in 2014. Um, and uh, essentially is to do two things, two major things. Mm. Number one is to ensure that we are able to track sales for tax purposes. Right. So the declaration of sales for tax purposes, revenue that is, is mobilized. And then secondly, in order to detect counterfeit products, which is essential, very critical, if we are going to be able to uh, ensure that the consumer is protected. Mm. Now, you know that it is being rolled out in phases. So we are starting off with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, tobacco products and some and textile textile products, mm. textiles. Um, I think this is a good point, without a doubt. The uh, Sashi water producers are complaining about the machines. Now government has taken step to provide some so that these producers can start using these machines and then in the in the short term and then in the long run in the long term they can gradually uh, their own uh, uh, machines to to do the, we must look at it in the light of the ultimate gain to the government and to the consumer and work together with the government to ensure that it succeeds rather than give the impression that right from the word go we are not going to be able to do it. Uh, we may be forced to lay down, lay off workers, and what have you. I think the machines that have been provided by government should be used, utilized by these manufacturers for the time being. And then we, they can have a plan, for instance, as to how gradually they can take steps to acquire these machines for themselves. Mm. It is in their own interest that we we, we are able to check counterfeit products that come on the market. It is in the interest of the producers themselves. And then it is also in the interest of the consumers. And so it must not be looked at as if it is a, such a burden that is going to be imposed by the government on producers, for which reason we must fight it. We must look at the ultimate, the broader interest, the broader purpose that it will serve, and look to see that we can do what we must do to make sure that it works. If we are able to deploy it and ensure that these producers pay the right taxes, we open up the economy. We employ more people. Their own production increases. They can buy equipment. They can, they are, their own sales would go up. So it's not something that we must we must look at it carefully we must not just immediately just say government is introducing this thing it will put pressure on us and it will force us to take steps that will not be in the interest of our workers and all of that i think we must call they must collaborate with the government and look at the interest that will come to them and the interest that will come to the consumer of what they think will lead to losses from their productions right said so the 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 such a water producers uh, their claim the fact that they can't acquire the, 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 the stamp of fixing machines, the fact that they will be compelled to uh, lay uh, off workers because uh, of the cost involved. Are these reasons that because of that we should, we should perhaps hold on with the implementation? Yes, um, this comes at a time Ghanaians are 
already overburdened with taxes. And listening to you reading the statement of the min deputy minister, who said it is not going to be an additional imposition of tax on, you know, corporations or um, this such a water producers are saying that they are going to pay a tune of eight hundred thousand to, to one the million machine. UN dollars, US dollars US to dollars. acquire the machine. these machines. Mm. And I think that look, when we talk about imposition of tax, we're talking about increasing the amount of money people pay as tax. So if they are going to pay eight hundred thousand or hundred one million dollars. US dollars to acquire these machines, this is going to put a lot more burden on them because they are already paying a lot of taxes as producers. And when we talk mm. about those who are coming in to check on counterfeiting of products, what is the rule or the responsibility of the standard authority? Is it not to check and make sure that goods that are sent into the market are of standard and acceptable? You don't need only these machines to make sure you are able to check all this, uh, you know, counterfeit my products in the market. Standard board can do it more better. And when you talk about the issue of creating employment, I don't know how paying 800,000 uh, US dollars or 1 million US dollars as tax will, you know, bring more, will create more opportunity for you to employ people. They even cried and said, the sad aspect of it is that they said they will have to lay off a lot more of their members. Because if you pay this amount of money, at the end of the day, you are supposed to be paying your workers. So how much returns do they get now? How much returns do they get already to be able to raise this huge sum of money to pay for those machines? And they said what will even convenience them more is that you are going to the port to get the machine. They ain't bringing the machines to you at your offices. So we have to look at it in one direction. At least we all are championing the cause for people to pay taxes. I believe that if taxes are not paid, we cannot build schools. We cannot provide water and the basic amenities we need as citizens. Mm. Hospitals cannot be built if taxes are not paid. But we may be looking at the amount of money we are imposing on these people to pay. So as at least, even if they are able to pay, then they wouldn't be laying down workers. If they would have been able to pay this money without laying off workers, I would have been fine because I think we need more schools, we need more hospitals. But if they are going to pay this money, and that is going to affect their business. I think government have to look at it again and look at an amount that can be more moderate for them to pay. Because already we have a lot of unemployed youth on our streets. A lot more of them who are holding degrees from the university, a lot more who are holding diplomas from the polytechnics, etc. And so today one will come and we are going to impose another tax that is going to force companies to lay down workers. Mm. I, 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 I don't know where we'll be, that will be leading us to. And you know, sometimes when Herbert was talking about the issue of armed robbery, he made, made a point that I was very happy about. You see, when we young men are sitting in the house without employment, sometimes this thing gets into their mind. They want to survive. How do they survive? That's when they think of getting into these issues of armed robbery and petty theft to survive. I am not encouraging people to go into that because you don't have employment. But look, sometimes people want to survive and the only means to get you know, satisfied is to mm. go around doing all these kind of petty issues. I think that we have to, uh, you know, reduce the burden that we put on our companies to lay off workers. Let's reduce these taxes for them to pay. And at the end of the day, it will create more space for them to employ more people than laying down workers. Already we have a lot of unemployed youth on our streets, and we shouldn't add more numbers to it by imposing I, I, taxes on uh, workers. Quick, quick, right. I think okay. it's okay. important okay. for us to, to note that this is not money that the government is taking from, from these producers. It's not, it's not an additional tax. As no, uh, it is to acquire these machines. But what has the government done? It has not immediately said acquire these machines now. Mm. It is taking steps to ensure that some machines are made available to these producers to share and then in the medium to long term, they can acquire these machines for themselves. Now, that's some capital injection, but that's not money that is, that's machine that will be acquired by these producers, kept in their, in their uh, production site and used by them in helping government to deploy this policy. Mm. It's not a question of whether they are being asked to pay $800,000 immediately that obviously would not go well with 
many of these companies and that's why government is taking steps to meet them halfway is it a policy that we want to deploy or not the gains that would come from this policy are they gains that we are interested in or not if we check both of them then we must work together with the government progressively to ensure that we see to it that it works mm -hmm. And then we all reap the benefit from it. Nobody wants to go to the market to buy counterfeit products. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to buy fake drugs. Nobody wants to buy uh, food that is not wholesome. Nobody wants to buy inferior textiles. We are all interested in ensuring that the products that we, patron we buy on the market are of quality standards, are of the right standard. And if government is taking steps to help in the work that the Standards Authority does mm. to ensure that we get the right quality and the producers declare the right sales so that we can also take the right taxes from them and use that in, in doing some of the things, the priority programs that government has. I think it is in the right direction. Mm. Is he right? Uh, quickly. Then I, we'll I, I think that more. nobody is running away from paying taxes. And if you check, I am sure you know already this bottle water producers already are paying taxes. They are crying about the amount of money that is going to be imposed on them. I mean, we shouldn't think that 800,000 US dollars is a little amount of money for them to Nobody pay. Has said so. And again, if there is, I, I was asking a question as to the returns they make now. How is the flow of market? How much is their return already for them to cough out this amount of money to pay? Okay, that is my problem. And if they are threatening laying down workers because of this money, I am saying that the government should look at it again. If they can make a, a decrease of the money for them to pay. Indeed, I alluded to the fact that if taxes are not paid, we cannot build hospitals, we cannot build schools, we cannot build what we need as citizens of this country. But the fact is that the amount of money that is going to be imposed on them, if it is going to cost them, to push people out of employment, mm. then government needs to watch this. That's my point. Because we have agreed from, you know... But, but, but so you, you, you don't think that uh, government getting uh, one of the machines at the Tema port is, 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 is a, an attempt to meet them halfway? That, that is fine. But let's look at the aspect of those who are supposed to pay this money. Government is meeting him. Oh, government machine, is, government not, is thinking that recommend. government is thinking that it is meeting them halfway. But for them, they think the amount of money they are going to pay is still huge. You get my point. Government is not denying and 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 and, 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 and I said I said that the standards of the Ghana Standard Authority responsibility also is to make sure counterfeit products are not in the market. It is doing so. Okay, and so this is not the only way to check it. So if the standard authority is already doing their job, unless, of course, you are coming to tell us that the standard authorities, they are not doing what they are supposed to do. They are not doing their job. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But if they are doing their job, imposing this money on them, it can be reduced. I'm not saying it sh flatly should be removed. Okay. They should reduce it because we need the taxes to build basic amenities that we need as a country. Okay, I'm grateful. Let's quickly touch on this one and then we can wrap up back on this. The find out this morning is talking about, uh, on page five, um, the Institute of Energy Studies uh, predicted a reduction in fuel prices in the first pricing window in the month of March. The Energy Think Tank uh, based its prediction on factors such as the stability of the local currency, the over 6% reduction in the price of petrol, uh, the 4.63% drop in diesel prices, as well as the average 3.33% reduction in Brent crude prices. Um, this is a second consecutive dip in prices at the pumps as seen in a relief for petroleum consumers considering the several price hikes experienced in 2017. For the first time in 2018, prices had uh, or consumers had a sigh of relief as fuel prices at the pump saw a reduction, though uh, marginal. So uh, between 1% and 3%, that's um, what the issue is. The energy sector levies at 2015 uh, was enacted in 20 years 2015. The objective of that I was to consolidate existing energy sector levies to ensure that uh, fewer um, uh, utilization of proceeds generated from the levies impose price stabilization and 
whole lot of that. But the Energy Institute is suggesting the fact that the prices are down, uh, they think that uh, that levy can still be taken off to give consumers a lot more uh, room. Sedu, let me start with you. Again, the prices are going down. This is the second time, between 1% and 3%. That's what the prediction is. We're likely to see uh, these at the, at the pumps today. But the Institute of Energy Studies is still, is still saying that the energy sector levy, which had been reduced from 17.5 to now, uh, is about 13% now, can be reduced more or, or taken off to give consumers uh, more space to, to, to uh, operate. What do you think? Um, last year, mm. or this year, I think last, that was last month, we heard about the reduction of fuel prices from 3.97 pesos a litre to 3.53 pesos. And it was described as drastic. And I was looking at it uh, in a different way because if you take that 3.53 from the 3.97, you have only 50, uh, 70 pesos reduction. And you see, when we talk about fuel reduction, we shouldn't look at the figures on paper. We should be looking at the effect at the f pumps. At the end of the day, when I go to buy fuel, I feel the effects at the pump and not on paper. If I go to pay five Ghana CD, for instance, mm. and they are giving me one liter of petrol, and, you, on, and on paper, I was supposed to pay 3.97. I wouldn't feel it. And the amount of money I pay at the pump to buy the fuel is what affects the ordinary Ghanaian. If I'm a truck driver and I go to buy fuel and at the pumps there's no reduction, that is what will inform me to increase the prices of my fare. And the increase of the fare will affect the ordinary Ghanaian who is going to enter my car. Especially when it gets to the issue of a market, uh, you know, a market woman. The amount of money the market woman will pay for me to convey her products from the house to the market, we inform her how much she's supposed to sell the products. And then the buyer will be affected. You understand? So when you come and write it on paper, and you say fuel prices are going to go down, and we are going to reduce it drastically, and the driver or the market woman is not feeling it, then it is better we don't throw the figures out. You know why? If I am an ordinary person. I don't read the news and I don't buy food. I don't have a machine. I am just a market woman and I bought car to pick my products from the house to the market. And I hear about the reduction of fuel drastically. And I was paying two Ghana CDs to pick my products from the house to the market. I expect that I pay one CD, 50 pesos or one CD because there's reduction of fuel. And if there's reduction of fuel, then it should affect the amount of money I'm supposed to pay. And when indeed I come to board the car and it is even now from two CD to two CD 50 pesos, it goes in contrary to the news that I listened to talking about the reduction of fuel. Mm. So governments should be more serious about issues of fuel. And we shouldn't always be throwing out the figures for political reasons. Well, you may think it, that this is not from government. It, it, it's, an, it's, an, it's an energy think tank that is suggesting that we're likely to see the drop in. in we are yet to listen. We are yet to listen to Herbert. And I'm sure you told that path. You say usually these issues will come up and they will use, I mean, government. Okay, you think you know, will, will feed into of course, it and, of course. and say that they have reduced. You, you know, price. you look at ESEP, for instance. I mean, ESEP is owned by the Deputy uh, Energy Minister, Dr. Mohamed Amin Anta. ESEP will come out with a certain figure. And you think this is coming from, you know, an energy consortium or a private consortium. At the end of the day, you will see that the manipulation is coming from the government but the realistic aspect of it is that if on paper fuel prices are reduced and at the pumps nothing is reduced then what's the effect i see so we we have to take people so serious and know that anytime these figures are coming out we are going to create a lot of confusions out there because if i hear fuel prices are going down then i expect to pay less to buy a car from my house to the market mm. and if i'm even paying more then what is it causing? And if this is not even coming from government, then government have to start talking to these people because it's going to cause a lot of problems for the government. Herbert, so that's the prediction from the Institute of Energy Studies uh, suggesting that 
from the pricing window of March, we'll actually see between one and three percent reduction. But uh, they, they, they continue to say that the special petroleum tax uh, can still go down, even though government has uh, shoved about 4.5 percent off it. It's now about 13 percent. They still think that uh, government can still go down and get prices to, to also uh, tumble. Oh, absolutely. And I think that government is not unaware of how fuel prices affect the, the, person, the economies of people and their, their livelihoods. Government is very much aware of that fact. If you want to cushion your people, if you want to help reduce the burdens on, on them, fuel prices is one critical area that you must look at. The, the levy has been reduced from 17.5% to 13%, as you allude to. Right. I know about the discussions between the NPA and the Ministry of Energy, because you know that is the contribution of the government in this whole price build-up. And therefore, government is thinking how to be creative, how to be innovative, about reducing this feather so that it achieves two things. The levies that it's the revenue that it is expecting, which it has earmarked for development projects, it would achieve some of it. Mm. And also reduce the burden on the citizen. I think that is key. It is critical. Now the more we see that this the prices, the percentage build up, the levy in there drops. It affects the price of fuel. And say, do, it would go. It would go into how much uh, uh, we pay for transportation. It would definitely reflect in it. There is no way that a, a gross reduction in the price of fuel would not affect transportation fares. I don't see it. We the uh, transport. Um, union is there to check, work with government to regulate some of these things. So it is not just a question of one person deciding that even though the prices have dropped drastically or the prices have dropped, we are not going to do anything about it and a different group say we'll do something about it. And that's why they have a union that, wo that works with the transport ministry for instance and, and to ensure that they are in sync, their fares reflect how much they buy, they, they, they pay for, for fuel. I don't think that any government at all is happy to see their people pay so much for fuel mm. and also in the area of transportation fares. And that's why the government has charged the NPA to work closely with the Ministry of Energy and the Finance Ministry to ensure that we see that these levies go down and they are going to go down further. I see. So that the build up into the into mm -hmm. the fuel price would be reduced and therefore reflects in how much we pay for fuel. And that's why a, a an energy think tank will be telling you, for instance, that prices are likely to go down. Say so do. It is welcome news. Whichever side of the divide we belong to, we hope for things to get better. And if fuel prices are going to go down, this is an energy think tank. I don't think it is fair to the deputy energy minister to say that because he has been involved in the running of ASAP in the past. Mm. We know how credible that institution is in leading the, the path on energy policy, on putting the government on its toes to ensure that energy policy is crafted to, to the, in the interest of the Ghanaian people. It is not fair to him to say that his uh, institution would put out figures that are not realistic only to suit the government. It is not even in the interest of the government to put out f figures that are not correct. And I don't think that uh, those are things that we should be, we should be encouraging. The government reducing the bill, the levies or not, it has re been reduced from 17.5% to 13%. And the government is taking steps to ensure that it is reduced further.
to ensure that the Ghanaian people are cushioned. So, in fact, government has come to realize that, uh, I mean, that tax cannot be scrapped totally. I think it is a progressive matter. I see. This is a government that, once it came, took immediate steps to abolish those taxes that it thinks are nuisance taxes that put too much toll on the Ghanaian people that the government can do without. So bear that in mind mm. and look to the fact that even with this one, it is reducing it. And the government has said to us that it is taking steps to ensure that the levies are reduced further. I, I think it is a progressive if, matter. If the same government told the people some time ago that this tax is a nuisance tax and it can be taken off, and today the same government is saying that well, we have to do it progressively. Isn't that an indictment on that same government? Well, this is what I'm telling you, that the, the finance ministry, for instance, mm. has made its own... Uh, Calculations uh, properly. And it's and expecting, come to realize and that. expecting some revenue to come from there. I this see. is a government that has been very aggressive about social in interventions. And we must bear in mind that there are different departments of government. While we receive revenue from one part, it is being fed into other sectors to cushion these same people. Government is determined to reduce further this levy, without okay. a doubt. Okay. And Great. we must say we quickly must, before I get to must work with problem. the government right. to ensure yeah. that it happens. Quickly, say quickly, just about one I'm minute. not saying it is not in the interest of any Ghanaian that fuel prices are reduced. But the fact is, when I was coming here last month for a program, I used the state transport company, that is STC. Mm. I paid 80 Ghana CD for my ticket from, from uh, Tamale, Tamale to, Accra. to Accra. When I was coming yesterday, I paid 90 Ghana CDs. Oh, okay. And before coming, there were news out there that fuel prices were reduced. And I'm paying 90 Ghana CD. When the prices were up, <laughs> I paid 80. Now that it is reduced, I'm paying 90 Ghana CDs. Okay. Is it reflective? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't just throw figures out there. Let the people feel it. The reality is different from throwing figures to the people. I could have argued with the conductor or whoever I was taking that the ticket from just that I heard news that, that an announcement price that prices down. has gone down. <laughs> so why are you charging me 90 Ghana CD? But when the prices were up, it was 80 Ghana CDs. But did you, you got a, a, a ticket that uh, had 90 CDs on it? Yes. Okay. You, right. you can even make your findings just now. Okay. Johnny, good morning once again. <laughs> I see that uh, the uh, Where Ghana campaign is already trending on mm. social media people are sending a lots and lots and lots of photos yeah, sure. and uh, we'll be sharing them with you as we make progress but then sure uh, that's somebody pounding for food right there <laughs> <laughs> is it a photograph that was taken some, some yes days yes ago? Just but, 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 but then we'll, we'll share the photos with you as we go on but good morning Ghanaians should stop speaking foul about the police uh, service and tell the ministers and the president to equip the police because the policemen are trying their best to maintain peace and order in the country. But it seems the ministers and president don't think about the police, even their welfare. How can a policeman hold a rifle and thinks he is safe? But when an incident happens and fires, the rifle doesn't. America is even equipping their teachers with uh, side arms each. Uh, stop talking foul about the police. They are doing their best from Nana and Adenta. And there have also been reports that well, our police, some of our policemen do not oil or lubricate their guns, and, and that's why sometimes it doesn't fire. But there, there are differences as to every story anyway. Uh, Mike Lamini in the UK says, the spate of armed robbery attacks in Ghana of late is not the best, and the interests of Ghana should uh, be paramount than our own partisan interests. So let those paid with taxpayers' money set up and confront this rampant insecurity in the country because it's getting out of control. And if they can't do the work, then they should pack out because Ghanaians want to see action and not mere assurances. President Kufado's effort attracting foreign investors into Ghana will be a mirage if nothing is done about the insecurity in the country. TV3 New Day, good morning. Ghana is no longer a safe country under Nanado's government. Our security officials and the law courts are being attacked and criminals are being freed. Our judges are being beaten and the police officials are being killed everywhere. When will this 419 government release the necessary funds needed for patrol and crime stopping? Uh, or, or you want to go, you cease crime? Kudos to Say Dufita. Uh, yes, uh, Osman Brook's son in Tamale said that to our incoming doctor. Good morning, TV3. A morning show. Thanks so much for keeping us updated every day. About the insecurity in the country, the president, as a matter of urgency, should deploy the military as an interim measure to help the police bring peace and order in our dear country. From Anthony Derry, uh, thank you very much. Then, more pictures 
coming up and we'll uh, expand the pictures for you as we make progress in the show later. Um, Dr. Abedi Kwadaso, aka Big Shoe, said, the police must do something since we can't afford to lose the foreign investors who are willing to create jobs for us, the unemployed ones, to lose their lives just like that. We can't suffer in our own country with these robbers. Thank you very much. The banks should monitor their workers. Some of them are accomplices. They are in league with the armed robbers, giving information about clients who come to withdraw monies. John in Kumasi is alleging. And uh, New Day is one of the big television shows in Ghana. Do you say one of the big? It is the big, uh, biggest television morning show, according to the Ghana Journalist Association Award. And uh, please, we know that it's not part of your discussion, but please, uh, past two months, we are suffering from network problems at our South District, and uh, not South District, especially coastal areas, uh, Boateng Krom, and uh, Nyase Danhu, and uh, Bonkwaso, and others. Okay, uh, it's a general problem. Yesterday, I had my own set of challenges with the network. And hello, good morning, TV3. Please, your set for the guests must change very bad. The account was short because uh, he, he's not what, he does not want to pay tax. Uh, he pays on table and not... I uh, pay them at the bank, frankly, be like wash. I'm sure you're talking about the Lebanese wars, uh, shot in cold blood. And um, you say that, well, <laughs> you didn't want to pay through the bank, too. Okay. Anyway, Bright, we'll check out some of your photos later. Senior Bright, over to you. Johnny Gray for once again. He'll be back with a mo lot more of the comments. Uh, let's wrap up our conversation, gentlemen. Uh, uh, grateful, at least we have some three issues to top up by heaven. Just one minute to wrap up on our conversation. Uh, I think that um, the Ghanaian people, uh, like we said earlier, legitimate in asking that the police should do more to protect them. I think it is a call in the right direction. I don't think that the police uh, sat down and are not doing anything about the situation. Uh, government is working closely with them. Government will continue to put in the necessary resources to ensure that they are equipped adequately, they are trained properly, they are effective, uh, they have modern gears, they have, like the interior minister is saying, the helicopters and the drones that in an attempt to combat these crimes and these criminals, innocent lives are not lost. And the Ghanaian people are the, 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 the ultimate beneficiaries. Okay. Sid. Right. Um, I just want to send a message to the President and the Minister of Water and Resources through Herbert that uh, <laughs> the, the, the good people of Tolong, especially Tolong Township, Yuao, Shrefoyili, they are drinking water with animals. Oh, okay. Oh. And the water they drink, honestly speaking, I have toured the area and I have taken time to see the water, the source of their water. Mm. You go and you see a cow defecating in the water, and drinking the, the water, and drink. they also fed the same water to come home and drink. See, the this is water. water. I am serious. I took, I drank that water. See, see, your boreholes are not providing water. They don't no, have the they don't have boreholes. And the people of Tol, oh, I'm serious about it. I'm very serious see. about it. And look, Tolong people, they were benefiting from this bio water that former President Kufour commissioned. And mm. for more than a year now, the water is not flowing anymore. The facility and is are, not working. Yes, it's no more working. Okay. And they are depending on uh, these dams. And that the water they drink in Accra here or in Tamale, you will not use it to even flush your toilet. So I'm just okay. appealing to you I that... Think, that uh, uh, has, Sedu has given you a job. Absolutely. Yes, so yeah, you, you send, you send the know, information to... You know that the government policy of one district, mm. one dam, yeah. is about to be rolled out. Yeah. It is to take care of, of some of these you, you, you water see you see I, I, I think, I think that, that right uh, all right you see i think so, that the so dams, you, the have, dams you, that you have given uh, a the, the, the dams, dams, dams are will, supposed will, to be for to irrigation farming i know but i guess and, and that, so I for guess now for them. now before you come with those dams mm. which are just in shadows mm. you can come and give them boreholes uh, so that they can get portal water to drink till the time i am grateful the people the government spokesperson a member of the npc said to fita as a member of the NDC, gentlemen, grateful for your uh, Thursday morning with us. Wish you Thank a great day. Uh, happy Ghana uh, month. We're starting today. Those of you who sent in your comment, we're grateful. The show is on. We'll be reading the comments as we move into the other side of the show. Stay with us. We have sports and then there's more. Come here.
Welcome back. You're still here on New Day. The government of Ghana has declared the month of March a Ghana month. And of course, it's to help us remember where we are coming from and certainly where we're going to show our products out there and, of course, put Ghana out there on the pedestal. But of course, you are also part of this. So send us your pictures of yourselves in your gorgeous African print wear as well as the meals you are having this morning. Just send it with the hashtag we celebrate GH to any of our platforms and we'll show it up here very soon. But I'm talking to Richard Ahnyable, he's the head of corporate affairs here at MG and also Ken Ado, he's the head, I mean group head for lifestyle events and entertainment here at MG. Good morning guys. Good morning. good morning. It's good to have you, and I love the African wear. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank well, you. so we're talking about Ghana Month. What does it mean for us as MG? What are we doing? Um, thanks, thanks a lot. For us, Ghana Month means um, promoting our own. Right. Um, as a Ghana's leading media organization, mm. we believe that we need to push the agenda of local content okay. and promote local businesses. Mm. So this whole month of March, we are um, celebrating Ghana. Another theme, wear Ghana, eat Ghana, know Ghana, and watch Ghana. Mm. So we're doing a lot of things under each of these separate themes just to project okay. our country, project our food, project our fashion, mm. like what we are all wearing <laughs> today, right. to the rest of the world, because we do have absolutely some of the fantastic things. We in do. World. We do. Mm. Yes. So why are we, I mean, you've spoken a bit about it, but why then is Media General really involved in this? Because somehow will say, government is the one who declared it, let them handle it. You know, as a company, we've been doing this for a very long mm. time. Um, we've always been in the forefront of promoting local content. Right. So if it's through the movies we show, music we play on our radio stations, it's predominantly been local. Okay. So we, we've, we've, we think it's a responsibility we have as a leading media organization to sort of leave this effort to promote Made in Ghana. Mm. So we are doing this because we believe in Ghana. Mm. We are doing this because we want to give local businesses the opportunity to project themselves. Um, we want to project our food, our history, mm. our culture. And there's no perfect man to do it than the month of the birth my, of this country. Of course, and my birth month oh, as well. Oh, awesome. But tell me about the launch. There's a launch happening today. So okay. this is officially the launch. Okay. Uh, we were on radio um, 3FM and on FM this morning to launch. Um, so this, this morning we are doing the same on New Day. Oh. Um, so it, it's basically our way of, like I said, um, pushing the Ghanaian agenda okay. and promoting Made in Ghana. So guys, let's just assume there's a banner here. Let's launch. Official, I hand over the scissors <laughs> to you and then you cut we the tape off. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, now let me come to you. What are right. we doing on our platform for viewers to catch and feel the Ghana we're talking about? Okay, thank you very much. Um, you, you rightly said it. Like we said, we are starting with the hashtag, we celebrate GH. Okay. And so it means that on social media, mm -hmm. uh, this is where the ac action is going to be mostly for the people out there, for the audience out there, the viewers, the listeners, and all those who read on, on, on our social media and follow our social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And so we urge everybody to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, like Richard rightly said, we, we are doing We're Ghana. Mm -hmm. And so with We're Ghana, we are saying that we are celebrating our, our Made in Ghana uh, productions okay. in terms of clothes and accessories and everything and so our designers out there mm. we're picking and selecting some of our designers out there to celebrate them okay. and grow with them so that you know it's not easy for people to start businesses like that right. and uh, you and i know what it goes into mm. some of these fashion trends and all that so we said no let's celebrate some of these guys let's pick them let's put them to another level so that okay. people would know what we uh, are doing and what they are doing as well so we say okay now come mm. with your pictures you out there the viewer out there the listener out there send your photos of you in rocking any beautiful african wear mm. african print send to our social media platforms on tv3 um, any of tv3 social media platform facebook twitter instagram on 3fm uh facebook twitter instagram and then on your fm and connect fm as well mm. and then we'll have you know uh, the more likes you get for your photos the better your stands your chances of winning uh mm. you know something from us and these designers that we are delving with or dealing with are going to provide these uh, clothes you know or prizes for 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 these people out there wow. so that is with where Ghana okay. and so every week we are selecting 10 winners 
Yes, every week we are am selecting. I, am I allowed to? Be a <laughs> you, because I want to win something. People are actually viewing you, so they, they are. They are. So okay, I've already that. won. It means I've. Yes, you are. You are automatically <laughs> leading, as right. it were. So, hmm. um, ten winners every week. Okay. We are picking females and males, and nice. so uh, at the at the end of the one month period, we are looking at forty winners. Wow. You know, to give them, you know, something good from mm -hmm. us as media general in promoting that agenda. Now, when we come to watch Ghana, right. we we are saying that listen we have a rich history of film we have a rich history of documentaries mm. and all of that that as a people we don't want to miss and the millennials most people actually don't also don't know what we have had in the past so we are sure. saying that we are bringing a lot of local movies mm. during the month of march mm. we're bringing a lot of local movies we're showing we're throwing you back on thursdays mm. to show you uh you know some veteran movies some old movies that you you have heard of but you might not have seen and those of us who have seen is like a refreshing moment for us that this is what we had mm -hmm. in the past so we are looking at that as well to give Ghanaians a feel of what it is mm -hmm. we are looking at sadia now our own ghana novella yeah. that we talked about that we launched last year mm -hmm. is also coming back it's already on but what we are doing is that we are putting together an omnibus of mm -hmm. what it has been so far okay. so if you have not been a regular or you've been watching it and you or you've never Haphazardly. watched it yes <laughs> this is the time for you to follow the story through and okay. through i mean on the 6th of march so we are giving you about six hours wow. of an omnibus you sit down you get your drink like we said asana maybe some popcorn Okay, no, no, no that's no, no, not. No, no, but no. corn is from Ghana. <laughs> corn is, I mean, maybe there's a nice way around, or okay. achom or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're and then something. you get yeah. your brokman or you get mm -hmm. your asana, or you get your yeah. any other local drink, you know, mm -hmm. then you can sit down with the family and enjoy the whole Sadia nice. series from from um, you know from 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. on the 6th of March and you enjoy it to the fullest. Now, when you go on radio, like mm -hmm. we said, we are giving you Listen Ghana, okay. so we are giving you good music authentic Ghanaian music from from old schools like the Ramblers, like the CBCs, like the A.B. Krenzels, mm -hmm. Pat Thomas, Bessie Simons, all those good songs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're giving you recent, you know, high life songs mm -hmm. from the Kwame Eugenes and, and all of that, which we already do, mm -hmm. you know, promoting Ghanaian songs as well. So that's what it stands for. Then we come, no, we come to No Ghana. Mm -hmm. No Ghana is going to give us sight and sounds. We are getting uh, beautiful stories from across. We are getting, uh, you know, features from across the mm. country to show Ghanaians that this is what we have as a people right. a rich history or rich story sites that people don't know about we are also mm. going to show them so this is what we have packaged mm. plus many more I can give you a whole collection of what we are going to do but this is what the whole picture is going to be like so wear Ghana eat Ghana know Ghana right. and then uh, watch Ghana yeah. and listen Ghana as well Oh, that's a nice one. I'm sure there's smell Ghana in the air somewhere <laughs> too there. But Richard, final yeah. words from you. So I think with all these that we've packaged, mm. um, the best platforms to be on, the MG channels. So watch TV3, listen to New FM, listen to Connect FM, listen to Akuma, listen to 3FM. Connect with us on all our social media pages. Go to 3news.com and we be rewarded for just um, being Ghanaian and representing your brand. For me, I think we are doing this as a company because if, if we don't promote our own, nobody will. Certainly. So let's all go out there, celebrate Ghana in this month of March. Mm. Finally, and guys, watching Ghana, mm. what do you remember as a child growing up? What do you want to see again in this month? <laughs> Just a quick one. Let's see if you remember anything. Um, I mean, if you ask me, there, mm. there are a lot of it. Uh, some of the old... I mean, I, I can't say we are going to play commercials, but right. some old commercials were, you know, that were exciting, yeah. you know, for us in the past. And movies, movies like, um, um, you know, like I told you so. Yeah. Mm. Who killed you know, Nancy? Who killed yeah. Nancy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Coco we're movies. Going, I mean, those we're were growing fun. up on all those yeah. movies. Yeah. These are some of the things that, you know, will take us back into time. And, nice. and then we'll get to see that. Richard, what, what is it for you? Oh, brah. Yes. Mm. You know, Obra. Sunday, Sunday, um, Sunday evening is on, yeah. on Obra. You can't wait for Inspector Bedea Kung, you know. Oh, that reminds me. Inspector Bedea Kung said he was coming back, but we haven't seen him. Good morning well, to you, you, you Mr. Mr. Provencal. Provencal. So, yes, <laughs> just repackage it for us. Maybe this time is a good time to, you know, rejuvenate it. Exactly. And one movie I want to watch again, The uh, Road to Kukran to me. Oh, yes. I love him. Mm. That was a great one. Mm. So, can you have work to do? Let's <laughs> try and get it for us. But, Definitely. guys, that is what we have for you here on MG Platform. 
Let me we want you to be part of it. The hashtag is we celebrate GH. Send us pictures. If it's music, anything you want to just get us to remember Ghana and also to patronize Ghana. And of course, it offers you the platform to showcase things you have, be it your work, whatever it is. Just bring it out there so far as it's Ghanaian and we'll share with you. But I've been talking to Richard Ahiable. He's the head of um, corporate affairs here at MG and also Ken Ado. He's the head of lifestyle events and entertainment. Guys, we have more here on New Day. Stay with us. Anyway, guys, we are celebrating Ghana in this month of March. Do remember, hashtag we celebrate GH. Send it to all our platforms. We'll showcase it for you. What you're wearing, what you're eating, what you see in terms of sight. If you have any tourist site around you, maybe you can take a picture and send it to us so we showcase it. But we have some Absolutely. coming in already. I, yes, I've seen some of, uh, <coughs> photos. People tag me on photos. Somebody actually mm. took you know, a photo and sent it to a group that I was, oh. I was on. It was a larger group, but I've been very conspicuous, <laughs> you know, absent on that group. And and they, they like their clothing. Mm. So thank you to Grandpa. Mm. You know, he's making me look good yeah. this morning. Grandpa is a dancer. And uh, GT people will provide their cloth, but yeah. grandpa will put the stitches through it to make, yeah. it, make it look good. Yeah, selksy. <laughs> it will make it look good. Yeah. But anyway, again, so papa's appeal to this all morning, our team stress this and morning, uh, mm. We, we mm. called for trouble, right? And mm. Amma, we invited trouble. And this is what somebody sent it's us. Early morning for as Kupan. early as 6 30 a.m., this is what our brother is busy doing. You see, and, and the funny thing is, it's already, it's ready. It's not like they're now pounding. This, so this is like the 4.30. <laughs> oh. Yes. Is he doing, is he doing, is he getting ready for Lent? So he wanted to eat before, ah, before the, the sun breaks. I, I don't know. Anyway, so nice. that one is done. Uh, we have a sweet, sweet lady here in a rocking day, African print in an elegant way. Yeah. Uh, like, is this what, a coat, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a coat, a long coat. coat. Yeah, it looks nice. With a, what's inside? What do you call it? It's a dress. It's a dress. Yes, oh, okay. it's a short dress. So right. when you put when, when, when ladies wear this, then you start doing two no. Oh. Right. Like right. when you wear it, the last time you wore some, you were doing two. But yes, when you wear African print, okay. I mean, when you look good, you should. Okay. You so feel that's our brother there as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. Mm. And uh, let's go to our sister. There's okay. One. Here we go. Here we nice go. Nice kente. Uh, that's the kente design sweet, there. Sweet, sweet, oh. sweet. Uh, I'm sure she, that's a shop. So Probably. she's standing in front of her shop. Or maybe she was on her way to work. But when you said she should take a picture, she had to find. Ah, so she had a to get out of and, yeah. and take a quick Who one. Who knows? Okay, these are two brothers. Um, <laughs> yes, it, it looks like this one owes this one. He's trying to collect the money, he's not giving it. <laughs> John, you have to put a story to everything. Oh, I'm saying that it looks like it, it does. Um, oh, that's okay, nice. so this is these are some folks chilling out there. Oh, uh, yes, yes. they're yeah. enjoying themselves. I like. I'm not sure where this is, but certainly somewhere around the coast, okay. most likely. Mm -hmm. But it's th yeah. they've made something special out of the sea because okay. I see. It's barricaded in a way. It looks like yes. a, a, there used to be a, a place around uh, Sir Charles Beach in okay. Winnipeg. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Something yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. Sir yeah. Charles, Sir Charles, Charles yeah. yeah. Sir Charles yeah. Beach at Winnipeg. There's, There's there was something a like that like too around mm. Pam Pram. Mm. Um, I, I don't know, but it, you know, it shows that we have been cobolos. Yes. So our brother's there. Uh, let's check out sweet sister. Okay, hey, Saga. You see hey. the cover and slit. You said you haven't yeah, seen it in a while. Yeah, this cover and slit. Somebody's showing us cover. And but where's the cover cloth? Back in the day, these days they don't like. Yeah, it. They don't like that the cover cloth now can sew a top for someone. Eh, oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Two years, I used to steal my exactly. mom's cover cloth to sew. So Charlie, but we are economizing the situation. You are now. giving me out uh, away, please. <laughs> okay, so but, uh, the nice. ladies are taking more photos than the men. Uh, where are the gentlemen? <laughs> I mean. Okay, yeah, Johnny, you know us. Too. I uh, like this too. I like this. Yeah. They look like twins. Mm. Um, yeah, they do. Okay. Hey. 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 This, hey. Is, this guy is related to Bright. <laughs> <laughs> he has laid a table before oh, him in the in presence the, of, of his, his enemies. enemies. <laughs> I think what? that's his enemy wearing the Nike right there. Anyway. Um, oh, that's a nice So one. that's a pretty, sweet one pretty, there. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Yeah. Check out this one too. Mm. Lovely, lovely. We're wearing mm. Ghana. Uh, oh, so that's a guy there. Hey, Charlie, nice to, uh, to no calm. It's yeah. no calm. And you uh, said you should send picture now. Uh, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Hey, why are you touching your head? Okay, sorry. It's a pose. Okay, I'm, I'm just checking. It's a sales pose. Uh, it's a that's also nice. Okay, I like I mean, the combination. Uh, yeah. Afropolitan. Yeah. A bit of African print and... Um, okay, yeah. here we go as well. Nice. Mm. I mean, that's rich color. Charlie, this is, this is this dress. Oh, Ghanaian it's girls dress. Pretty. Oh. Uh, so, what happened to the Ghanaian brothers? They're uh, on break. They're on break? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, 
Let's see if we can find the photos. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Johnny, I see some crocodiles. We're going to also check out some of the places, uh, yeah. interesting uh, places yes, that they have sent. That's what I'm trying to find out yeah. now. Yep. Okay. I like this. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. from up north. Yeah. That's also Ghanaian. Yeah. 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 It looks like a warrior. Mm. But you know, when I was young and we went to these arts places and they sold the leather kind of thing. The leather has uh, a smell. Uh, yeah. Is there something yes. we can do about it? Because I, I know for me, it was irritating. Yeah, so I didn't yeah, really you like didn't buy it. Thing. Even yeah. when you buy a leather wallet. But that's the canopy, uh, yeah. canopy rock. Mm -hmm. And people are climbing up. I've always had my fears, you know, climbing up a canopy I know. rock. I saw this yesterday. <laughs> um, uh. it, this is chicken or hen. Yeah. But this one looks like uh, a guinea it's fowl. A guinea and I'm wondering how a chicken can have a guinea fowl baby. Only yes. in Ghana, they, right? It can be done. They do that. Uh, Not they have, have a way of it. doing it. It doesn't mean Isn't that an adopted the baby, child? they sort of try to take care of them. Once you have fed their so family. Ah, uh, okay. So that's an adopted child. <laughs> yes. Okay. In a way. Sometimes they, they, what they do is that they, they collect uh, the eggs, eggs of yes. and make them make hatch. Put it under um, um, a fowl and then. Oh, okay. Uh, so the characteristics somehow ah, I saw it. resembles that also. Good morning right. to you, Reverend Father uh, uh, Kwati, my parish priest. I saw it in his house. Oh, yes. is, this, is this Kakum? Yes, this is Kakum yes. National Kakum. Park. Of, these it's days, Kakum. I hear there are a couple of them around. Yeah, I hear the Legon Botanical, the Legon Botanical, 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 Botanical Gardens, Gardens as well. Uh, that's a crocodile. Ooh. There's a Paga, Paga mm. crocodile area. So you can go there up north and uh, chill with the crocodiles. That's the Nkrumah Mausoleum. It's on the high street, at Tamil's high street, and you can go there, the final resting place of Ghana's first president. Mm -hmm. And this is elegant. Is. Yeah. This is Real royal. This is groovy. Uh, so this man, I suspect oh you, he was supposed hey. to, to take a photo of... This is my picture of the I day. Know. Yeah. Yeah. It talks it all. Yeah. <laughs> but the oil, Charlie, that oil can cook another meal, I promise. Oh, we, when, we, when we finish it, it will be I know, I know. But see, guys, mm. there's wow. a drone there hey. with a camera. I'm sure the guy was at a wedding. He's it's been contracted to take. The then drone. he paused to... To reflect, but, but Johnny, look, Johnny. Mm. Is I, even the Bible I, says? I need to. I need to quickly after the show go home and have this and come back. Are you sure? Yeah. He's just okay. My mom is at home. I'm sure she would do. Right, right. How about this? Wow. Uh, this will be for lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is very green. Mm. You see, uh, but people, if you eat this before you go to work today, I mean, you go and sleep. <laughs> you <laughs> sleep. Oh, see, 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 oh, see. Oh, this see. is cute. Lovely one there. This is nice. Lovely this one is there. Nice. Oh, Charlie. Oh, this, is, this is Ghana for real. <laughs> see something. <laughs> Oh, people, wear okay. clothes at least. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah, okay. that's nice. This is nice. I hear she's the single The kente too. is pretty. Yeah, but I hear The kente <laughs> is what is nice. And the whole but outfit. the woman is prettier. Oh, she is. And I hear she's single as well. She's but a makeup artist as well. Guys, the fight is coming on. Between uh, On the 6th of March. <laughs> right. Will you MC? Will you uh, refer no, this but, match? But you guys, if you can't fight, please. Uh, no, 6th of the March. The that's is, when the, the money is you are taking. Go and return that's the money. 6th of March. I will beat Asempa for Koko so that I can, <laughs> I can take the win, winning bonus and take it there. Uh, but this, this is something no, well. very nice as well. Yeah. Mm. And Grandpa made this one as well. Mm. So this is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And lovely couple rocking African uh, yeah. costume. Sweet one there. Charlie, the, the, you know, the, the Ghana man will be nice. It's yeah, it, it should be nice. It will be nice. It will be nice. I, I can't wait to People have. should just decide to yes. get themselves wow. excited. Right, let okay. me hey. watch your appetite some more. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is Kokonte. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Kokonte per show. No, Kev, no we Kev. want you to eat Ghana today. That's why we are doing these things to yeah. you. So that you will know. And uh, for those of you who like to... The beverage wow. fraternity. This yeah. is palm wine. Yes. Um, uh, and Johnny, talking about palm wine, mm. uh, today at uh, BN Pub in Bubuashi, it is we're, happening. We're doing all palm wine. Azipopo. Mm. Azipopo. Azipopo. A, a lot of palm <laughs> wine being put out there. We are freezing it and it's going to I be palm wine. I hear a combination of palm wine and Guinness. Uh, 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 yes, it's quite. Cool. So uh, don't miss the, the fun start right But, but right, today this is Pito. This is Brukutu. BN Pub. And we're going to have all the fun. This is Brukutu. Throughout. I don't know, but I'm a... Palm wine and, and, and <laughs> this one. You want to run chemistry? No. Chemistry it analysis. Was the analyzer. <laughs> <laughs> Pito is also mean, exciting. Yeah. Particularly the one that has no alcohol. The tosi. Yes, very, very nice. Mm. And you, the tosi. You, you love to drink and yeah. drink and drink until, until mm. your belly So, what's yeah. the difference between asana yeah. and tosi? No, asana is different. Asana is corn based. Okay. Right. I, I don't know what they use for tosi, um, but asana is corn based. That I know for a fact. Uh, Pito, 
uh, I, I think it's millet. Right. Right. Millet, okay. yes. Uh, palm wine is natural. It comes from the yeah, palm. Nice yeah, one. yeah. So Palm you Sunday should, is coming up. You know up. how they brew it. You <laughs> know yeah. how they get it out of yeah. the palm. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. I mean, the mm. farmer, the Ghanaian mm. farmer is always... Mm. So it's between Pito and Palm wine. And uh, this is perhaps oh, our last China. picture. <laughs> it can only happen in Ghana. <laughs> How on earth is he going to consume yeah, the whole that, thing? That's, that's a local rice. Yes. The local Ghanaian local rice. Local Ghanaian so, rice yes, uh, used for jollof. You know this jollof is yeah. deficient. It has, <laughs> because it doesn't have everything. <laughs> it just has small tomatoes and plenty pepper, some curry, and, uh, and you are good to go. Goat head. Yeah, goat head. No, but is it that he stole? I mean, I'm wondering, where are the rest of the people who are sharing the meal with him? No, because maybe they are yet to come. So oh. he is started. He's, he's starting. waiting they are not ready. Oh, why <laughs> why <laughs> should you wait for them? And on one Okay. Eh? Yeah, People, this right. is gluttony. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, <laughs> Ghana, so, see Ghana, okay. hear Ghana, watch Ghana, feel Ghanaian, so, but don't uh, go this somebody, far. Somebody says we should show his photo. Okay, we showed your photo. Okay. We showed your photo. What's yes. the occasion? Yeah. Oh no, he said he's wearing he's Ghana. Ghana. Okay. Yeah, we should nice. show his photo. So we showed his photo. Oh, but, but Johnny, I, I yes, think so that uh, uh, you see uh, in oh, all these oh, conversations. Oh, that's, that's a another choir. one there. That's a choir. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That sent okay. us their photo as yeah. well. Okay. Nice. We have a lot of friends who are sending us things. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll check out mm -hmm. more of your photos yeah. uh, here on New Day. Hey, hey, that's another Shala. one. Somebody there. started already. Oosh. And uh, this bank went no, Look um, at the brother. Look at the brother. Okay. He means business. <laughs> but where He's does, not even raising his head. Where does all the food go? Look at his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> he use, it means he expends the energy. That's why you need something like this to keep him going. Look, my brother, you eat all this. And we can't see you. Look, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> uh, good morning. Keep watching you. They will give you tips. Even the Bible says eat for the journey is long. The, the journey is long. I, yes. I, I saw someone sent a message. I think it's in response Charlie, to Ames' comments. Said, don't worry about the scent. Uh -huh. I, I think there's a daboya. One yes. used uh, once and dry, the scent will go okay. Okay. Yes. So okay. you need to dry. I'm, I'm grateful there's the solution yes. to that. Yes. So okay. dry it out. I'll when it's sweaty, yeah. you dry it no, out. No, not when it's sweaty. I think he means when you use it, you just dry it out in the sun so that yes. the leather. It is okay. so smell, yeah, right, will go up. Right, okay, right, we'll try right. that. Thank and, you. And keep very them much. coming in. Tomorrow will continue. Tomorrow, uh, somebody says they're enjoying today's new day. Of course, you enjoy it. Hey. <laughs> oh my God, this, this is, is a, yam cooked this, with yes, the skin. The, yeah, yeah, net. yeah, yeah. I'm told this and is very healthy. Yeah, that does yeah. This is very, it's very, very healthy. Yeah. And uh, maybe coffee broke man as well. Uh, For those who don't like the soups, is that tea that's coming up? That my is favorite. tea that's coming up. Yeah. Like, you know the deal. Oh, I do. You will I go can to heaven. Let it miles away. On that TZ note, I'm sure we can wrap up. We should wrap nice up so we can go and eat. <laughs> <laughs> People, you know where the food is. If you want to eat some, just come and join there's us. Gan there's there's well Ghanaian the meals <laughs> everywhere. Wache, Banku, oh, TZ, uh, Kukote, Petri, Abobitadi, uh, name it, rice, local rice, jollof, there's everything. Yeah. Abolo, uh, uh, cheke, uh, cheke. We don't want to start like it on screen, and, and but guys, we just leave you. Go and eat. Eat. Have Ghana. fun. Wear Ghana. Ghana. Smell Ghana. If eat you Ghana. Sleep Ghana. If you don't know where to find Ghana. them, just come to BN Park. BN Park. Mm. Tonight, we're starting the fun. There is that Bubuashi? So when you get to Bubuashi yes. Bishop, mm. Mm. you, you, you call, call us. Yes. We'll take you there. There's Time. food there. And Saturday is a big one with a live band. BN Park is rocking this month. We call it JJ. Je, 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 I am je, telling je. you, <laughs> we're going to do the Jeje je, je real with Azipopo and his team. All Salute right. to Grandpa. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, Friday. Thank God it is. And we'll